Welcome to the tutorial for setting up your Zynex sensor. Whether you have a Thermo, Thermo X, or Soilmo, you came to the right place. The first step is powering up your sensor. Unscrew the back. Remove the slip of paper and secure the batteries in place. You should hear beeping. This confirms the sensor is on and in configuration mode. Next, download the Zynect Sensors app on your iOS or Android device. Go to the Setup section. Your Bluetooth must be enabled to complete setup. You should see the name of your Zynex sensor. It's the five character code on the back of your sensor. You can connect your sensor to Wi-Fi or LoRaWAN base station. For Wi-Fi, click the magnifying glass to find your network and add your password. If you're using an open network, leave the password field blank. Test your connection and then save. For LoRaWAN, once your base station is set up, click the LoRaWAN tab, test the connection, and then save. Go to the dashboard section to set custom alerts, add contacts, and view your data. Click the pencil icon to rename your sensor. Move the red marker to set max alerts and the blue marker to set min alerts. To set an alert, you need to add a contact to send it to. This may be you or someone else on your team. You can enable other alerts, such as your sensor going offline. You can add more contacts at any time, manually type contacts, or search contacts by importing your address book. Outside of adding contacts, your team can view this data by downloading the Zynex Sensors app and using the share code, located at the bottom of the sensor data page. Select the calendar icon to set a custom data range and the mail icon to email the data to yourself. Go to the account section to change temperature units, dark mode, and password. This completes your Zynex sensor setup. Go to zynex.com faqs for additional information.